Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We've laughed along with our next guest for years. He's been featured on BET's Comic View, Dev Comedy Jam, you name it. He's done it, and now he's currently on tour. This man stays booked and is very busy. Mm -hmm. Please welcome my friend, Toure. Yeah. Come on now, Toure. How are you? Welcome to the circle. Good to see you. Hello, 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 hello. how are you? Hello. Welcome hello. to the show. Hello. 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 Purple marks your spot. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Hello. We're doing fabulous. Thank you. Thank yes. you. So I know your story, but a lot of people may not know your story. How did you actually get into comedy? I uh, started at Temple University just being a student and loud mouthed around campus and a uh, young lady walked up to me one day and was like, you know, you should do open mic night. And I'm like, what well, am I going to do at open mic? Right. right. And you know how women can say something, she's like, you funny. Right. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh. <laughs> like that. Like, and um, that's how I started. And I went up there and BS'd and did whatever I did. But at the end of the night, they gave me a little envelope with 50 bucks. And yeah. it was like, you know, the light went on. That right. this was something like that paid. I could do. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. how I started. Right. Speaking of start, yeah. so you gave Kevin Hart an opportunity to perform when he was a student in Philly? I, no, I actually started Kevin Hart. Yes, oh, really? Yeah. Tell me that story. Yeah. Uh, well, Kevin was at Community, and I was running Thursday nights at... Uh, community. At the, uh, community College. Got community it. College, okay. Philadelphia. And uh, I was running Thursday nights at the Laugh House, and I got a, friend, a phone call from a friend in comments, like, hey, man, this young guy's funny. You should throw him on. I'm like, send him down. And Kev comes down, and there's all this, you know, this hype and this energy. And I'm right, like, right. you know, what should I go to take his name for the list? And I'm like, what's your name? And he's like, Little Kev the Bastard. And I'm like, what? 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 Like, <laughs> That's what you want me to say when I put you right. on stage? He's like, yeah. I was like, what's your name? Uh -huh. He's like, Kevin Hart. I was like, I think you might want to go with that. Yeah. And, um, just showing him where comedy went from there, you know, just being a mentor in the beginning. Yeah. And a lot of people look at it like, you did Kevin? No. Kevin did the rest on his own. Yeah. I just showed him where comedy was. Right. So after right. that, the work ethic and all of that, that's Kevin. The, that's absolutely. Kevin. Yeah. I can only imagine how proud you are of him. I'm super proud. And it's great to have a friend that owes you. So, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Friends with money that <laughs> owes you. Every now and then. Right. Right. Yeah. Have, you, have you asked for it yet? Right. Well, no, not money. I've always, the best way, the thing that I want from Kevin is what he, I gave him, work. Yes. And I always come at him and he, he keeps me working. He keeps mm -hmm. me involved in some of his products. Absolutely. And, and all of that. So that's good. Yeah. 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 So you have just recently recorded your comedy album yeah. at the Atlanta Comedy yes. Theater, my home club. Yes, tell me Atlanta about comedy the comedy theater. club. Where can I mean, Tell me about the album mm -hmm. and also where can we find it? Well, it was funny. I was just doing promo on radio and they were like, you got an album out. I'm like, nobody tells nobody to buy an album no more. It's, right. like, it's out. Right. Right. Go right. download it. Just go get it. It's on Pandora. It's, on, it's called uh, To Ray Live at the Atlanta Comedy Theater. I taped it at the Atlanta Comedy Theater. And um, right now it's just a big market for content, yeah. Yeah, yeah. audio, visual, and albums are not played the way an album would be thought of mm -hmm, as an album. Mm -hmm. It is now just streamed out. People hear more Pandora, they hear more uh, serious. They play bits and snippets on YouTube. Yes. So we get revenue for all of that. Good. And I've That's been good. enjoying a great life with uh, <laughs> Sound Exchange. Right. Thank, I you. Love Thank it. you for the change. Yeah, yeah. yes, so, yes. so to have more content out there and to have an album, and then now you're starting to control the content. Mm -hmm. It's not just being recorded at a show and thrown out there, you're recording it for a purpose and putting it out there yeah. with the way you want to. You're being so. smart. Yeah. yeah, I try to be. Smart. Try to be. Right. Try to be. You know, one of my favorite, and one of my favorite, <laughs> I know, I like your chocolate skin. <laughs> mama, you shaved mama. today? Mama, I did, this yes. morning, this yes. morning. Yes. It was very nice. Yeah. Very nice, yeah. very clean. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> one of my favorite comedians is some more. Yes. And yes. you uh, did a special, too. yeah. Yes. All the Queen's Men. Tell us about that. Um, I, It's funny because I'm on the road with some more, been on the road with some more for 10 years. Oh, wow. a blessed, blessed existence with her um, a lot of comedians do special a lot of comedians mm -hmm. of her level do special a lot of comedians do Netflix deals not too many comedians go back and do a special for us mm -hmm. so this year she taped her fourth self-produced special uh, Queen with no spades mm -hmm. and she taped that on a Saturday night well mm -hmm. the Friday before that she brought us in and taped and produced our special all the Queens men which features yeah. myself Damon Williams Tony Schofield uh, Darren Diaz Sanders and, and myself as I said but uh, for her to do that for us, for her to, like all we had to do was show up and perform. She yeah. did everything: the Man. wardrobe, the venue, that is the fabulous. production. Yeah. Like I told her, she should start looking into production. It's yeah. a great, great thing. So it was, it was amazing, and we're looking forward to the release of that this fall. Good. I can only imagine. You know, Samore is my mentor, yeah. so I, 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 ooh, she's I, mine too. Right, you know, it's crazy too. We, we only see that we only see what we see. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's such a businesswoman. Oh. She's such she's a lady. Amazing. She's such an amazing human being and I learn every day mm -hmm. being yes. with her. So good, it's good. a good thing. You're oh. currently on tour. Yes. We gotta go, but yes. just yeah. tell the people. Masters of Ceremony, three fantastic comedians, myself, Bodacious, Kareem Green. We're here this weekend in Atlanta. 
Uh, we're going to be all over, man. It's just a great tour, live stand-up comedy done the right way. Nice. Awesome. Yes. He is doing it the right way. You want to see him, make sure you check him out at Uptown Comedy Corner this entire weekend. Thank and the conversation always continue on Sister Circle TV and all social media platforms. To Ray, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Pretty skin. Yeah. Pretty skin. Pretty skin. I love Thank the skin you. you're in, brother. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are wonderful. Yes, sir.